Spices is there. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in the dim hay. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. It's a cut speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Oh, they will be back. Baby comes back. I don't like whips and I cannot lie. All these lashes make me cry. Now my teeth grind. There's a thing to find. I get scared. Woo! <sighs> Scary mist. Oh no. Alright, well, I'm fresh pooped out of ideas. Stop with the teeth, Daniel. How are things coming? For me, I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. That was once quite important to me. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead heart for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. That's cool. I'm gonna try and see what's up here. You keep chatting to me. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. By me, I'm the next best thing. Alexander really but not as of Johann Meyer. You never heard of Johann Meyer? My God, he's probably the greatest man in history, and you don't. Or is it the world who has forgotten me? I don't know, mate. I don't know. All I know is I'm trying to figure this out. It looks like that's all Where I can do. my pupil. My pupil. Yes. I do take pride in that. The shadow. It's close now. Daniel, don't even worry. I'm gonna go back to the room with that gate, see if that did anything. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna have to check the net again. Oh, yeah, by the way, there was some writing there. Forgot to read it. Just, just read it. Hey, dudes. Still won't budge. Still the scary wind. Doop de doop de do de doop de doop de do do be do be do be do be do be do be do do. All right. I don't want this to get out of hand again, so I am just going to check the internet, okay? I just... I don't want this to go on forever, and I am stuck. So see you in a bit. Alright, I'm back. Hello there, people. Basically, according to the internet, now that I've sort of made that gear go all turny, 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 I can now backtrack and find two levers that were previously unusable and now use them. Obviously, I didn't even see the levers in the first place, so it's a good thing I checked the net, or I could have been there for a while, because I didn't know there were levers to backtrack to. So let's go and have a look for them. Back through the nave. Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how Father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one skill to form something so delicate, grants a certain form of pride. It's true. All right. Don't worry about the dark, Dan. You're basically fine. How are things coming? I found a mithraia box, one which had not been plundered. Do you know what mithraia is? 
I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing. So obviously I don't actually know where these levers are. So it might take me a while to find them. I might backtrack too far, in fact. Hopefully not. I suppose this would be the place to check. This under place. Nope. It's all right, Daniel. All this crying and sobbing you can hear is just peacocking. I know this game. I know it well. Where are these levers? Oh, if I don't find them soon, let me tell you. Anything in here? No. Won't budge. There we go. Sure hope this doesn't spawn a monster. I didn't read that far, I just know about the levers. 9th of August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. That's cool, Daniel. That's cool. Right, now you keep an ear out for roars. Come on, Dan. Just book it down the stairs. I'll give you some lanterns. There you are. Doopy doopy doo. <clears throat> now we are ready. So yeah, I would not have thought. Yeah, good to see. Not many orcs are left. They sometimes consume themselves or break, then used by an uninitiated. I was lucky. Sure, you were very lucky, sir, but I have no time to listen to your incessant yammering. All right. Agrippa channels Weyer. Where taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and he still insists on me releasing Agrippa. Oh, this is not Agrippa talking. Okay, well, I'm going to use this accent anyway. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I cannot bring myself to part from Agrippa, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to worlds beyond. Vea claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige. But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen the deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Vea told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae, and Tamter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the world, world with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water-draining tank. I will have to address where 
with this as he will have to supply me with a host. <laughs> also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. Blah, blah, blah. Loud in them. That looks to be about... Oh! Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines, take the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Oh, I have to go out, don't I? Well, me thinks that Daniel started to enjoy this a bit too much once he got into it. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Rose petals of doom. Yeah, that was not good for your brain. But you know what? Oh dear. Yeah, as I was saying, not good for your brain, but you have to face up to what you've done, Daniel. You've been a very naughty boy. Don't let it even be thought that you have not been. After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. Feeling better now? No? Doopy doopy doo. Down we go. There better not be any monsters, because you are so insane. Quiet main hall. There are some not encouraging groans coming. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. Ah, so Daniel went mad. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? The greater good. It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. He thinks that the shadow is not a happy boy. <laughs> well, fuck you. Right? Yeah? Yeah? I've been doing so well, and you went and fucked me up. Alright, come on. I guess that noise is the you're not very sane noise. Oh yeah, Dan, you are... You're not sane. Come on, Dan. 